Hello gamers and welcome to Gather 5's first episode of Retro Game of the Week. Still here to give you a rundown of a game very near and dear to my heart. That is Chrono Trigger for the Super Famicom and Super Nintendo. Now this game was released on March 11th in 1995 in Japan and August 11th that same year in North America in PAL region. Now, the gameplay in this game is turn-based, a turn-based role-playing game, but in my opinion, with a twist. Now, your the game will consist of seven playable characters, but you can only choose three at a time. Now, this allows you to play through the game any way you want, as you different characters give you different type of options for fighting and battle. Um, so this allows for very high amounts of replayability and um, basically giving you a lot of tactics as different characters can help in different situations. Now, the combat, there is no set turn order as like you would normally see in a turn-based role-playing game, but it, and that is who goes next will depend on a certain gauge that shows up. And this is like an action gauge. And this gauge depends on your character stats on how fast it will fill. So if you boost a character's speed as you gain experience and skill points, they will ultimately be able to go faster and more often, even maybe three times before an enemy goes. It will help later in the game when you're fighting some of those harder enemies. Now there is magic in the game, but this actual magic system it's more of a technology system, which gives it a sci-fi feel, even though it is very fantasy-based. Now, these, this technology system, known in the game as techs, also have tech points as you level up, allowing you to unlock more techs to be used as for each character and as groups. These techs can be combined to party members to do a single attack on one enemy or an area attack on multiple enemies but if you use the same group enough you can unlock a triple tech and this triple tech will deal massive amounts of damage um, it does require you to wait for each party member's gauge to fill to make sure that each party member has a magic points or tech points left in a combat to use it but it is very useful in tight situations and they're very cool and as it's different for each set of characters, it brings in something new combat every time. Now this game also features option choice options, which we see a lot in modern RPGs, but the influence of Chrono Trigger bleeds into that as this game has lots of times in the story where you see that your choice has brought a piece of your gameplay into the story um, and this can impact certain points of the game as well as endings there are multiple endings of this game there's a way to unlock a new game plus which requires you to do a certain ending of the game so lots of replay value by taking your time and finding all of those endings and as you can see in the gameplay here the 2d sprites um, and artwork are masterfully done giving great color and animation and a very defining look. Now this game um, is a fantasy sci-fi game where the main character quickly falls into an adventure of time travel and unlocks uh, a lot more of the story but I won't go into that as it is best experience while playing. Now this game brought a trifecta of legendary minds together. Uh, Hironobu Sakaguchi the producer of Final Fantasy, Yuji Hori, writer and game designer of Dragon Quest, and Akira Toriyama, the Dragon Quest character designer and Dragon Ball manga creator. Um, initially, the game was hoped to be released on the Super Famicom disc system, a system that we did not get in America, but and it was going to be under the Seiken Tensetsu series, or known in America, the Mana series. Um, ultimately, it was released on a 32-bit cartridge with RAM storage, as you will need those save files um, because this game can easily take 30 to 40 hours to play. Um, 
So it is easily available to be imported if you want to play the Super Nintendo game for under 10 bucks from Japan. Um, and you can get imp uh, translation patches to play it in English as the North American part sells for over $100 easily. Um, but there's a PlayStation DS and PC ports and those are easily under $20. Well, there's no reason you should not try out this masterpiece. Go check it out. It is Chrono Trigger for the Super Nintendo and Super Famicom. Easily one of the greatest RPGs of all time. Go have fun. And I'll see you in the next retro game of the week.